Hello again, audience, and this is episode two of Unturned Survival. Now, if you're a fan, that's probably my computer, because it's probably going to overheat. See, look, it's taking a while to load. I'm going to 90%. Well, that's actually pretty good. Now, I'm going to tell you a few things that happened over the... And over the weekend, and why re over the week, and why recently I haven't been recording videos. Basically, a bunch of stuff happened on Saturday. I got kicked off my robotics team because I was arguing. Um, what else? What else? What else? I started typing a story. I had school. A bunch of things happened, and I didn't have control over much. So what I'm gonna do? Oh, and another thing that happened. I sort of died off camera. You last saw me mining a piece of stone. A zombie crawled behind me. I didn't hear it until the last second. And it was right after the recording. It crawled after me and started eating me. You see this zombie? I could probably kill it. You see how it bit me already? See, I'm getting rusty at this game for some reason. I played it literally two days ago and I already forgot how to punch will attack and back up at the same time. Look at me, I'm already on 92. Oh wait, I healed some. Okay, that's good. Hopefully I can kill him on time without him hitting me again. Oh, he hit me again. Come on, die already! Jesus! Oh God! See? It's a just a... It's a perfect example on how bad I am. I realize I'm in a military base, but... Nothing bad's gonna happen because I can handle these guys. I took on a horde of zombies by myself off camera. I should be fine with just my fists. Literally just my fists. I was naked and afraid and using my survival instincts I was able to take all these guys on. Now this pink shirted guy seems to attack for more. I'm not gonna let him hit me on purpose, but I'll try to show you not on purpose by the way. I'll try to show you how much of a t damage he does. See I'm at sixty three percent right now. Look Oh wait, he does 10%. The other guy was doing like 8 or 9. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Hopefully there's some band-aids over here. Or a gun or something. That'd be great. Gotta watch out for the zombies. If I hear a growl, I know to run. Apple juice. Perfect, just what I needed. Perfect weapon to stand off zombies. I heard that there was a cheat to get this big old vehicle, and I really want it, but I don't know if I can get it. Back up, out of the way, so the turtle shell zombie. Don't kill me. There's two. Oh god, there's two. Oh god, there's two. Hopefully I don't die as fast as I did last time. Because I did die last time. There was two. Because they line up and attack you. It was horrible. Bad memories are still brought on by this. Hopefully I can kill them on time before they get mad at me. Please don't hit me. Look, they hit me. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. Ah, please save me. Where are the police? I think the police are dead. The police might be dead. You wanna know what I don't get about this zombie apocalypse? I'm the only one that's not dead. And the weird thing is, you see your bodies, and the, and the zombies buy them once you die, and if you get back to your... If you get back to your body on time, you can still see it there, lying on the floor. So I have a theory. I might have mentioned this before, that... You don't really actually... Die. There's a horde of people trying to collect supplies for... A bunch of people that look exactly like you. Or this is some sort of test. Brought on by the Canadian government or something. It's ridiculous, and I just thought... Well, since I'm writing a story, I'm trying to think of ideas, and I thought, a zombie apocalypse. But then, uh, my story is actually going to be on twins, because I'm a twin, and it's something I can relate to. It's going to be unrealistic, it's going to be fiction, because I like fiction, and basically I, have to, I like anything that has to do with science fiction. I mean, science fiction is probably my favorite reading topic. I mean, I've read Lord of the Flies and Harry Potter, but... Science fiction and fantasy is probably my favorite two reading genres. Because the first few movies I ever saw with my father were science fiction movies, so I decided to get some books and read them. 
The books were amazing. Just to tell you. Oh, I didn't see him for a second because everything's in black and white. Except my fist. Every time I punch these zombies, I think, Black Power! Because, you know, I'm black and 14 years old and I was raised in an Afrocentric family. Well, what we, what, what you, what people would call Afrocentric, but not really. My family's actually pretty, you know, smart. We just got into an argument over whether energies matter or not, and they actually got really, really mad. I'm gonna see what is in here. Um, so I guess I could pause. No, that that'd be a waste of time. I'm probably just gonna go in here and try to find some band aids. Hopefully, there's some band aids or some I don't know morphine or something. Oh, so I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. There's so many zombies. I don't want to fight them. I'm probably gonna get hit once and then be on 3% health. And then I'm gonna find a band aid and it's gonna only heal me for like 10% or 5%. Then I'm gonna die. These doctor zombies are really strong too. I guess because they keep in shape. Or their physical health is over 9,000. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no joke to be made out of that. I don't even know why I tried. It would make sort. It would have sort of make sense though, since they're a doctor zombie. They were a doctor in their past life, so they'd be more physically fit than all the other zombies. Cause they're always hard to kill. I'm just gonna back up in circles away from these guys. Try to get this turtle zombie. Oh god, he almost hit me. Oh, he almost hit me! Oh god, he's reaching out for me! Come on, go away! Go away! Go away! Don't want to play! I really don't want to die, Dr. Zombie, hurry up and die! You're undead, but die again! Please hurry up and die, I'm getting tired of this thing. Huh? And there's still more zombies. I'm glad I didn't get hit once. Man, I fought off like five zombies. Yeah, five zombies, I fought off five zombies. Ever since I started this recording, I just got into this. I literally just opened up the game, and I started recording, and there was five zombies attacking me. That's sort of depressing. At least I got a deuce box for my troubles. Is there any more zombies? Yes. I'm not good enough at this game yet to run by and pick up stuff, so, so I could like run through the medical bay and pick up things. I mean, I've got the punching down. Like, the back of my hand. I don't know why people say I got this like the back of my hand, because no one really knows what the back of their hand looks like. They always have to look at it. Oh my gosh! 3% health! Oh, don't hit me! Don't hit me! Baby, don't hit me! Baby, don't hit me! No more. Zombie love! Oh god, his blood is black! Just like Corona. If anybody gets that reference, you're awesome. I wonder if he's gonna make spikes. No, who, whoever gets that reference, you have a good anim taste in anime. Hopefully there's no more zombies, because I really need that health. I I think I saw like a juice box or something. Maybe that can help me. Man, I already have 40% hung Um, I already have 48% sickness. You know, over the um over the recordings, when after I was mining that rock, I died, and I respawned, and I started playing again to see if I could get all my stuff back. I couldn't. What ended up happening was, ooh, ooh, band-aids, I need these. Oh, it's a rag, dang it. It's not gonna heal much, but it's something. Please get me up to 10% or something. Is that another band-aid? Yes, it's another band-aid. I heard something, I'm leaving. I have to back up like this big old truck over here. Ah. 360 turn. That wasn't exactly 360, but you know what I was talking about. Why am I not back up to like 10%? I'm only on 8. If he hits me once, I'm gonna die still. Why am I complaining? This is a zombie apocalypse. Of course I'm gonna die. I always eventually die. He's probably gonna come around this tree. Yeah. The, the zombie, I like how the zombies get stuck on the tree sometimes. And then they just come after you. I mean, I like I like the, how smart these zombies are, but I just don't like how they always seem to come after you. I mean, there's an easy mode, but I don't want to play on easy mode. I want to play on normal mode. 
so I can be, I don't want to be that one guy who's like, oh, this game is so easy, then I go on normal mode and die a lot. Ah, ah, you guys saw that Enigma updater thing, right? Don't download that because it randomly updates and it's really annoying. <sighs> die already! I need to pause because I need to go to the bathroom. <sighs> oh, good. Control F12. Dang it, what did it do? Am I still recording? Give me a second to see if I'm still recording. Oh, control shift F12. I'm still recording, dang it. Control shift F11. It should be paused now. Um, I'll try. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just have to go to the bathroom really quickly. Um, so I found this band aid. I killed that zombie. That's a bag. I found a night vision kit, which is cool. Hopefully, I can sneak past. <gasps> Dressing! Oh, thank God. This is like the best band aid thing in the game. Let's see how much it heals. I forgot what I was originally at. Oh well, it's cool. I can see now. Is that morphine? Yes. I'll keep this for later. Now to handle all of these zombies. They look at an inanimate till I come close into their aggro range. Look. He's frozen. He's not doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> So if I can keep my my theory is if I keep on punching them, they'll die. <laughs> Not exactly a theory. I just like using scientific words in my recording. I think I'm backing up into a wall. Yep. I love how the blood splatters like um. How am I not hitting him? I've been punching forever and I'm not hitting him. Come on! Die! 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 Yes! Yes! Oh, he hit! He hit! I'm so glad I saved that morphine. Where is it? Three, two. Oh. Ah, that feels nice. Ah, shaking for a bit. How much life do I have now? Thirteen. I can see everything now. I can see clearly now. The darkness is gone. I have no idea what that was anyways. Hey look, a busy zombie. He might be a tough deal. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh, that was a night vision goggle! Ah, oh, you gotta respawn. Turns out he was a tough deal, didn't Turns out he was. <laughs> At least say that to the thing. Turns out he was a tough deal, didn't <laughs> My brother's funny. He's also funny. He's also funny. I'm not sure that la what, I la what I said last is a word. Gonna kill a sailor zombie because he's bad. I remember the first time I was over here, I had to run away from them. Because there was like three and I didn't know what to do. Yeah, those were the times. Just downloaded the game two weeks ago. No, I think it was about a week ago. Ding, ding, ding. I don't understand why so many people use that song in their Vine videos, but they don't get sued. When you upload to YouTube, there's this thing. Once you process, when you process the video, there's this copyright thing in it. Checks to see if any you have cop any copyrighted material in your um in your video. And if you actually sing well enough. You can get copyright material in your video, and they give you a strike, and if it happens again, you're going to be, you know, banned from YouTube, and you might have to start another channel. I don't think that's ever going to happen to me, because I can't sing that well, but I love singing, especially in the shower. Singing in the shower, whatever word comes next. Oh, God, there's two. I didn't see them. La-da-dee-la-da-da, 